Hi. I'm excited because I've finally amassed enough products to do a full face of Fit Glow, and I figured we would make it Valentine's Day edition since that's coming up very soon. Before we jump into the actual makeup look, I'm gonna give a little bit of context behind the look that I'm doing and why. And also, I have a new phone, so I hope the quality of this video is a little bit better than before. And let's talk about the makeup look a little bit. Normally for Valentine's Day, I would do something super sexy and fun and creative that makes me feel bold and powerful, but this year, uh, you know, 2021, we got the pandemic and I'm an idiot. My boyfriend and I had booked a trip to Oaxaca in Mexico. We got this like super beautiful remote Airbnb and we booked it when cases were looking really good. And it was like the two week period when California had indoor dining. And we were like, it's gonna be great by February, let's book it. And of course now COVID is like the worst it's ever been. So we just lost $2,000 on canceling that trip. So for Valentine's Day weekend, which is also my birthday weekend, uh, my birthday's on February 10th, we are just gonna be here <laughs> in the Bay Area chilling with the fam. So uh, all of that has a point. It's to say, I'm not gonna do the like cool, sexy, glittery, fun, bold makeup look I normally would since there will be family members around us. Instead, I'm gonna focus this makeup look on things my boyfriend really likes. And so uh, I wore this necklace that he bought me from Misoma. I wore, this is his favorite sweater. Can you see it? It's from Aritzia and it's, the most huggable sweater ever. I'll link it down below because I can't remember what it's called. And I'm gonna do his favorite makeup look, which is basically like a smoke, kind of smoky, kind of natural winged liner look with a nude lip. Hi, editing Kate here. I completely forgot that I have a coupon code for you. The code Kate20 gets you 20% off your order and it's permanent, so you can use it as many times as you like. Uh, I don't make any commission from that, but if you wanna support my channel, I have an affiliate link in the description box below, uh, and that gets me a couple bucks from your order, I think. I don't know, I've never actually used it before. So no pressure, it's there if you want it. Bye. I just softly did my brows off camera because Fit Glow doesn't yet have a brow product, but otherwise, first what I would start with is their concealer. I have the shade C2.5. And when it comes to a Valentine's Day look, I'll just get in here. Um, I like to keep the skin very natural. You know, we're just gonna be home, so I don't need something that's super long wearing, like a, you know, heavy matte foundation. And just on a day-to-day -day basis, I like to keep it pretty natural. Uh, I tend to avoid foundation whenever I can. And uh, this concealer is really good for that because it is super emollient. I'll show you just like on my finger. So you can see it's kind of dewy. And when you feel it, it just feels kind of like, um, kind of like a thicker eye cream, but then it's full coverage. So it's really, really beautiful if you have uh, drier skin as well, but you still want something full coverage because it doesn't look heavy and it doesn't feel heavy. So I'm just gonna go around and spot conceal. I always get breakouts on my neck. It's super weird and gross. I think it's from my hair products, but you know, what are you gonna do? Then I'm taking their little dual ended brush and just buffing that around. I find that spot concealing when my skin is looking pretty good is just the best way to do complexion because it looks like you're not even wearing makeup. It just like, I like the kind of look where it just looks like I'm, you see me and you're not just looking at the makeup. And plus, we're gonna focus on the eyes today. Um, my boyfriend just loves when I do something fun with my eyes. Huh? Speak of the devil! Uh oh. Now I'm just gonna blend under the eyes. See how nice that concealer is? Man, it's full coverage, so you just need a little bit but it really does the job. And I like that it's actually a thicker consistency because it means it stays in place. A lot of times, uh, full coverage concealers, there are more thinner formulas on the market now because that's what everybody wants. But the advantage of a thicker formula is that when you blend it, it doesn't blend away into nothing. You can see that kept the coverage uh, and you know something like my e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer, sometimes that blends away a little bit, even though it's full coverage. So I like that this keeps the coverage, it goes where you want and doesn't go where you don't want it. 
Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go into the complexion and I've got these Lumi Firms. This is the bronze shade. It kind of reminds me of the Tower 28 um, Bronzinos. And so if you liked those, but you didn't like the formula, check this one out. And I'm just going to dot it where I would normally apply a powder bronzer. I like taking the bronzer just on the edges of my face. I think my friend Carson was talking about this where sometimes people slash I will apply bronzer like all over my face, but then it doesn't end up giving you dimension. It just changes your entire skin color. So I'm trying to be a little bit more thoughtful with my bronzer placement. Totally forgot. Gotta go in with one of my all-time favorite lip products. This is the Fit Glow Lip Serum in Night. Mm. So nice. Uh, I own four of these and I have gone through several other tubes. I keep them all over the place. It's just like the beloved lip serums that have a tint to them, except this is clear and it has a couple extra nourishing ingredients so that it is uh, not exactly the same formula. Feels pretty much exactly the same, but this does have just an extra boost of nourishment. And so I'm fully addicted to this. Absolutely love it. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna do a little bit of the bronzer on my eyes, like super natural. Just a little tint. Yeah, I like that it just adds a tiny touch of dimension. I just want my skin to be very natural since we're around the house. And I don't really wanna look like I'm wearing makeup. Gonna take another Lumi Firm, this is Buff. And these formulas are just really nice. You can just really easy, bl easily blend them with a finger. And um, it's got that typical Fit Glow, special, unique, texture that I don't know how to describe, but Fit Glow said that I can do a training with them to learn more about why their formulas feel so different than anything else on the market. So I think I'm going to do that just so you guys can maybe have more information. I know that, you know, I'm not the most helpful when it comes to actually understanding formulas. So if that's something that you think would be helpful to start doing in my videos, I'm happy to look into it more. But, you know, I'm just a regular person who loves makeup, so trying to figure this out along with everybody else. But these formulas, the Fit Glow Lip and Cheek formulas, just always have this, like, indescribable, kind of, like, cushiony texture that makes everything super soft and bouncy. That's kind of, like, the best way that I can describe it. So that's the shade Buff. I think that's perfect for what I'm going for. I'm also maybe gonna just play with a little bit of, of pop since I have this um, right on the center. So you can see that's what it looks like. It's, yeah, just right there, just like a little pop of a brighter color. Um, since I'm focusing on the eyes and using a purple pencil, I don't wanna go too overboard with blush like I usually do. And these will probably chill out a little bit. Okay, final step of skin, I'm taking their Highlighter Lumi Firm, which is super natural as well. There you go, you can see that. It's not, as you can see, it's not that like super intense, um, like wet look highlighter. It just is made to look like skin. You can't, I'm looking at it in the mirror right now up close and you can't even tell that I'm wearing makeup. Like there's no shimmer particles that you can see on your face. You can kind of see some shimmer particles in the pot, but once it's on the skin, it really just kind of looks like a bomb. It does have a little bit more of a powdery finish than like the bronzer or the blushes. The Lumi Firm doesn't have that kind of like, you know, that RMS um, Living Luminizer that can be kind of sticky because it never sets down, this does. So if you don't like the feeling of like a tacky highlighter, then this would be really nice for you. I'm gonna take a little bit of their powder and just 
This is in the shade light. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. It was a little too glowy before. Cute. Okay, so let's do the eyes and I'm, oh. All right, so let's do the eyes, the most exciting part. And I'm also super stoked to announce that Fit Glow is launching eyeliners. These are their, uh, do, 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 do. I don't think they have a name, but anyways, they have uh, Starlight, which is this gunmetal gray. There's the one that I'm gonna use today, which is Mulberry. It's like a soft, shimmery plum. And then they have Bronze, which I think is more of like, maybe an olivey bronze. No, I'm wrong. It's like a bronze. They named it appropriately. This is what they look like. So you've got that gunmetal gray, you've got the mulberry plum in the middle, and then you've got the bronze on the end. Um, I think I'm posting this YouTube video on the 29th. I don't know when these pencils are launching, but they did tell me that I could go ahead and talk about them. So there you go. Oh, and on the end, so you have the pencil on one end and then you have a smudger on the other end, a little angled brush. So I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes and do mascara first. The reason for this is I really struggle with matching my eyeliner shapes. This eye is a lot easier for me to do and I can kind of map it out if I see where my lashes lie, but this eye is all jacked up, I can't do it. So um, I find that a trick is just doing your mascara first and then you can kind of see where your eyeliner fits in with your lashes. Okay, so already you can see that just smudging the liner on the upper waterline and kind of wiggling it into the lashes adds a pretty solid amount of definition. But then we're just gonna keep this kind of natural and try to wing it out. But first I'm gonna do mascara. Just going in with Fit Glow's mascara, which looks like this big old chubster wand. So I tend to be super messy with my, my mascara because I really push it into the lashes to get this like super lifted effect. And then I'll just take a Q-tip and I'll smudge off the mascara. But I find that it just really helps get into all the lashes if you like push them in. Hopefully my mascara is dry because I'm gonna start going in with the eyeliner. And if I'm looking in the mirror, I can kind of start building this up here. Close my eye a little bit. I'm gonna smudge it a little bit. So it's kind of like softer around the lid. Mm -hmm. And then winged out. I'm happy with that shape. I feel like that's kind of smoky and sexy. Now to do the other side. Okay, the initial shape is done. I feel like that's even enough for now. I might go back and look at the footage and be like, your eyeliner does not match. Um, but you know what, that's okay. Just like eyebrows, winged liner are cousins, not sisters, and especially not twins. And now let's do the lips. I have like a bajillion options and I might as well show all of them. First, I'm gonna show you their lip color creams, which are their lipsticks, and you just boop, pop it out. This is the shade Buff. Mm, little too dark for this look. But that's buff. Now I'm gonna try the shade Buck. A little lighter. That could be cute. Ooh, it's like peachy. Mm. Still not what I'm going for. Okay, I brought out a lip serum in Bloom. This is a little pinky. But very sheer. Mmm, I love this, but maybe a neuter lipstick. Okay, I have the lip serums in Nudie and Buff. Let's try Nudie. It's more like it. I like that, but I think I'm gonna go for less pink. 
let's ooh you know what um fit glow also has their new lip liners i think they launched these maybe like two months ago now but they've quickly become one of my favorite formulas so i'm going to use the shade buff I like that. Makes my lips look way bigger. Ooh, look how much bigger it made my lips look. I just want to be like, hey. Um, I'm going to take the lip serum and buff now. Same shade. I think that'll do it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take a hint on the lower lash line just to make it even more bold. I don't normally do that. So I hope you enjoyed this full face of Fit Glow. I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day wherever you are, and I hope you are safe and happy.